All right, guys, so this is part two of our ITV friction syndrome video. So in the first part, we discussed what that was, uh, the muscles that were involved, and how to race them off with trigger point balls and foam rollers. So what we're gonna do today is actually run through how to stretch those out and create a little bit more length and flexibility through the muscles. So come over here, we're gonna start with our first muscle. So the first one, as we said before, the most important one is gonna be your TFL at the top and also your VL. So this is one of my all-time favorite stretches for the whole body and especially for runners. It's called the runner's stretch. So what we're targeting here, as I said, is, is targeting front of the thigh, so getting in your whole quad complex as well as your hip flexors as well as your TFL. So what we're doing is you're gonna place your, whichever leg you're gonna stretch, so knee on the floor and foot on the wall. Now you can place it on a wall or on a sofa or on a chair, um, wherever it's comfortable for you or wherever you've got. Um, make sure you've also got a soft mat so that you're not sort of compressing the front of your kneecap too much. And then front leg is obviously in front in the low lunge position. So what we're doing from here is making sure that you're nice and upright to start. So if you're really tight, you're gonna be starting like this with your back arched. All right, so make sure that when you're in the start position, your spine is nice and straight. If it's not, then just give a little bit of this angle and just lower your foot down on the wall or on the chair. So there's a little bit less of an acute angle through the knee. So it's putting less pressure and less stress on that front muscle. So from here, so from the start position, what we're gonna be aiming to do is push our hips forwards. All right, now at the same time as pushing your hip forwards, what I want you to try and do is squeeze your butt muscle. So this is doing two things. Number one, we're obviously stretching out the front area here, TFL in your quads. But number two, we're trying to activate and squeeze that glute muscle, because um, this is the exact kind of motion that you're in when you're running. And what you need to get into this range of motion, push off when you're running, is a good glute max, a good glute squeeze, okay? So this is a really good functional um, stretch as well as an activation exercise for the butt muscle. So from here, we're squeezing the butt forwards, okay? And as I said, what I don't want you to do is sink down and let that lower back just arch and collapse, okay? We're trying to maintain a good running position. So when you're in this position, squeeze the butt, keep the spine nice and straight, and then we hold. Breathe through this exercise, do five to 10 deep breaths. If you're holding your breath, your muscles are gonna stay tight, so breathe nice and relaxed. If you wanna intensify a little bit and get a little bit more TFL into there, then what you can do is reach up nice and tall and then reach to the opposite side that you're stretching, okay? And again, just keep squeezing the butt muscle at the back, all right? And making sure when we are bending down to the side, we're not arching the back at the same time. So spine in neutral, squeezing the butt forwards, and we're reaching out to the side. And again, just hold, breathe through the exercise. Don't breath hold, okay? My number one exercise, I recommend everyone does this, regardless of whether you're a runner or not. So it's really, really good, just reversing all of that um, hip flexor tension we tend to get from sitting in a cramped position all day. All right, so that's exercise number one. I've targeted several muscles there. So the other one that we want to do that we discussed last time is our glute max. All right, a couple of ways of stretching this depends what feels more comfortable for you and how much hip range of motion you have. So if you want to be lazy, this is my favorite stretch. What you do, again, we're against the wall. We are lying on our backs, legs up on the wall. Okay, and then whichever leg you want to stretch, put your ankle onto your knee. Then what we're gonna be doing is just very slowly sliding your foot down the wall. And what that is doing is that's pushing your leg up towards you and creating a stretch on the back of your hip, okay? If you wanna intensify that, you can push your knee away. And then all we do is we hold that position there, okay? Really nice, lazy stretch, all right? So what I don't want you to do though, however, when you are sliding your foot down, which quite a few of my patients like to do, is they lift their hips up because they're really tight through there and they literally can't get that range. So they compensate by lifting the hips up. So make sure spine stays flat, pelvis stays flat on the floor. You're sliding it down. The only thing that's moving is your hip joint. And then hold it, breathe. Five to 10 deep breaths. Really nice, relaxing, easy stretch to do. The other version of this, which is a little bit more intense, is your pigeon pose, which if you do yoga, you'll know. And if you like to stretch your glutes out, you'll know as well. So this is 
is a little bit more intense, it tends to get a lot of your hip capsule and a lot of your deeper muscles in the glutes too. So again, keep this comfortable. Some people, if they don't have a sufficient range of motion in the hips, this might be a bit uncomfortable. So play around with this one. Start with the wall one, you can progress onto this one. So what we're doing here is we're placing our stretching leg in front of us. Ideally, you want your ankle in line with the knee. Don't worry if you can't get there. If you're super tight, you'll probably be like that. All right, so just work with what you've got. Okay, and from here, what we're gonna be doing is first is just sinking our hips back and down, okay? And you can play around with the angles here. So play around the angles, find where you get the most stretch. I tend to like going in this um, sort of bleak angle backwards. That really hits into your joint capsule, as well as all the deeper muscles of the glute. And then if you want to further stretch this, then what you can do is you can start to lay yourself down. Again, this is quite an intense stretch. It does create quite a lot of compression through the hip joints and make sure that you're feeling comfortable with this one. Because again, you've got to hold it. If you're not comfortable, you're going to tense up. So in this position, again, you can keep wiggling around, finding the spots that feel tight or restricted, and then just hold it there, all right? Again, five to 10 deep breaths while you're holding this and you should feel a good release starting to happen through the back of the hip, all right? So they are my top um, stretches at the moment for your ITB friction syndrome. Give them a go and um, let me know how you get on.